All right, we got some people coming in. This is awesome. So if you guys are just joining us right now, we are about to do some kin stretch for about 30 minutes. We'll start in a few minutes. So make sure all you need is a yoga mat or just your floor. I'm really excited to get this going. Kin stretch is one of my favorite classes to teach here at Aura Fitness and Yoga. The best way to describe kin stretch is stretching that makes you sweat. <laughs> Here we go. This is awesome. I'm gonna get a few more minutes here and then we'll get started. Shout out to Lean Fit who's sponsoring this Sweat Across Canada campaign that Impact Magazine's doing. So if you are joining us right now, get ready to stretch and open up those hips. Make sure you have a yoga mat maybe some water, because some of these movements will probably get you out of breath. I'm waving at all, all these guys. This is gonna be a lot of fun. I do have music playing in the background, but feel free to play your own music so you can vibe to. There we go, loving it. Everyone's joining in, this is great. We'll give it like a one more minute, just so we can get a couple more people watching and ready and set up. And let me know if the sound's okay. I am wearing a microphone to our sound system to make sure you can hear everything. All right, I think we're about to get ready here. So if you have your mat out, make sure it is Set up, I will show you what we're going to do first. So we're going to do something called controlled articular rotations, which is basically a fancy way of saying we're going to move our joints the way they're designed. We're going to kind of hit all the main body parts to get going, and then we're going to really focus on some hip mobility today. So first thing, we're going to get into this kneeling position with our toes tucked under. If this bugs the toes, go flat. If this bugs the knees, just go in a seated position. So find what works for you. We're gonna start with something called shoulder cards. We're gonna start with our right hand. We're gonna go into a straight position with a karate chop hand. What I wanna see is we're gonna come up as high as possible with that shoulder. When we get to the top, I want you to think of rotating the wrist, elbow, and shoulder falls behind as far back as possible without rotating our torso. So now we're gonna reverse it nice and slow. Remember, speed is not your friend on this one. And don't forget to breathe, you know? A lot of times when I give this to clients and patients, they get so focused on the movement that they forget to breathe. So now I'm rotating that hand, I'm rotating, I'm rotating, I'm rotating. Now my hand's backwards. So now I'm coming reverse, same way I came, only using my shoulder to get it nice and warm and loose. Let's go one more before we switch over to the other side. And I'll try my best to constantly come back to my phone here to see the comments and interact with you guys. And good, we're gonna switch over to the other side. We get a different view here. Left hand, we're coming up as high as possible. From there, we're rotating that hand. Watch how my body stays straight. I'm not leaning away from my shoulder. I'm staying nice and straight. Drawing big, big circles with my arm. I know this seems super simple, but we're gonna get pretty intense pretty soon. So just you wait, we gotta prep the body. We gotta loosen up those joints, those muscles, those ligaments, those tendons to start moving better. Last one here. Up, up, around, around. Rotating that shoulder and back. All right, from there, what we're gonna do is stand up. I want you to hold on to a wall, coffee table, chai, whatever you have. And what we're gonna do is something called hip cards. We're gonna start with our right leg. And you're gonna lift it up as high as possible. From there, you're gonna go as wide as possible. From there, you're gonna rotate that hip. And this is the hardest part. And I'm gonna take that knee around and behind. 
So one big, big, big hip circle as we come around. The one thing I want to mention is as we're doing this, we're going to do five side by the way. When we're going, especially into those tight areas, I don't want you leaning over because then you'll cheat to get more range of motion. Try to stay nice and tall the entire time. If this one feels awkward and weird, that means you're doing it right. Because most of the time, people don't use their hips through all the range of motions that it's designed to go into. So especially when you get into this transition phase, a lot of people kind of lose where they're supposed to be at. And just keep breathing. I think we got one more. Nice and slow, keep breathing. Stay nice and tall, don't break your form. Think of only moving this hip the entire time. Perfect, we're gonna switch over to the other side. So a little review, we're going leg up. Leg out to the side. Rotate that leg and then make our way behind ourselves and then draw that circle back. Here we go, we're gonna go four more on your own. Let's see what we got going on here. People are still joining in. This is great. Keep going, you guys. This should be like number three by now. Rotate, rotate, rotate. And breathe. Let's go one more. Get those hips really fired up. And move. Here we go. And good. All right. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to get onto our mats. We're going to go into something called a 90-90. What I want to see is you're going to have your legs super wide. We're going to drop to our left with both legs and aim to get into a 90 degree angle with the front leg and a 90 degree angle with the back leg. What we're going to try to achieve is a stretch in our front leg. How we're going to do that, I want you to stay upright. I want you to think of arching the lower back, spilling your belly forward, keeping the chest up, then we're going to lean forward, as far forward as possible. We're going to hang out here in this stretch for about two minutes. And then we're going to do some isometric contractions. So when I tell you to go, I want you to think of pushing your knee and ankle down into the ground as far as possible. And then when I tell you to go again, you're going to do the opposite. We're going to drag your knee and ankle off the ground. In this position, if this back hip doesn't feel that good, one, you're leaning forward. There's a couple things you can do. You can take this knee, bring it forward, and bring the leg in, a little less aggressive. If that still doesn't work, you can lean over to your left side and then lean in to get a stretch in your bum. So we're still hanging out here for another 30 seconds, and when I tell you to go, we're gonna drive that knee and ankle down into the ground as hard as possible. So I want you to focus on breathing. Really expanding through that diaphragm, and not so much up through your chest. I really want you to focus on deep, deep, deep breaths through the belly. Another 20 seconds, we're still breathing. Keep breathing. And then in 10 seconds, I want you to think of driving your knee and ankle down into the ground. All right, so we're going to do that in five, four, three, two, and one. Start driving your knee ankle down into the ground hard. You should feel like your glutes kind of engaged a little bit more. All that tissue surrounding that hip should be on fire right now. Keep pushing down, keep pushing down. You've got five, four, three, two, one. Let go of that contraction. Try to get a little further into your stretch. In about 10 seconds, I'm going to tell you to lift your knee and ankle off the ground. It physically won't come off unless you lean all the way back. But I want you to keep that stretch that we had before and activate all the musculature in your leg to lift up. So we're going to do that in three, two, and one. Think of driving that leg up. Drive, lift, contract every muscle fiber you have in your body. Lift, lift. In five, four, three, two, and one little relax. We're slowly gonna come out of that. Before we make our way over to the other side, we're gonna do something fun called 
active range lift up. So with this front leg, when I tell you to lift, you're gonna lift the leg up and hold it there until I tell you to put it back down. So a couple options here. If your hands are up here, it makes it hard. Hands down, a little bit easier. Lean over to your left, a little bit easier. Go on to the elbow to your left, it makes it even easier to lift a little bit higher. All right, so final ones for you. Three, two, one, and lift. We're holding. My torso stays straight, I'm not losing it. I'm staying upright the entire time. Hold, hold, and back down. You should have felt all of this stuff contract to hold it up there. All right, three, two, one, lift. Hold, 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 and back down. Remember, if the leg is not coming off and this hip's not feeling that great, just lean over and I'll show an example of that. I'll give you a different angle. All right, so three, two, one, lift. Me with a little lean. Makes it a little bit easier on this hip. I'm still getting the benefit of all that musculature in that front leg. And back down. Three, two, one, lift. Hold, hold, hold. And back down. And lift. Hold. Hold. And back down. We'll do one more. And up. Hold. Hold. And back down. All right. We're going to transition over to the other side and do the same thing that we just did. But before we do that, I want the right hand on your left ankle. You're strapped yourself in. We're going to open up this back leg for 10 reps. We're going to open up as wide as possible without my torso rotating too much. And then we're going to come right back down. So nice and slow, we're going to do 10 reps. And focus on that breath. Focus on opening up those hips. And make sure that you're not going through any kind of pain. Pain is not what we're trying to aim at. We're trying to just open up the hips. And if it's tight, that's okay. If there's pain, then create a buffer. So an example is I know if I hit this point, that's where I feel a little bit of pain. Create a buffer of a couple inches and just go within a smaller range. That's okay. If not, focus on getting a couple more centimeters every single rep. All right, one more, we're gonna transition over. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna open up, and now we're gonna come to here into the middle. This is called a bear position where my Ankles are in line with my knee. My chest is up and I'm holding this position. What I want to see, we're going to do a little bit of shoulder work here. We're going to go arms straight up at 90 degrees into fists. When I tell you to go to external rotation, you're going to rotate the arms as far back as possible. When I tell you to go to internal rotation, we're going to drive the arms as far forward as possible. And we're going to go along with my count. The entire time, we're holding this bare position. If this doesn't feel good on the hips, go to a butterfly or go into a seated position and still follow along with the arms, all right? Three, two, one, get set. Arms are up, fist, external rotation. We're holding. Internal rotation. We're holding. External rotation. Also make sure you don't fall into this. Try to keep your chest up the entire time. Internal rotation. External rotation. Internal. The shoulder should be on fire. External rotation. Internal rotation. External rotation. Let's go one more. Internal rotation. External rotation. Bring your arms in front and let's flip over to that other hip. So, we are in our 99 position, but now our right leg is in front, left leg is behind. We're gonna arch our little back, keep our chest up, lean forward until we feel stretch in your bum slash hip area. What I don't want to see is this. No rounded back. The more you can arch, this and keep your chest up, it tilts that pelvis so then we're right into the capsule to get a good deep glute stretch. This is very similar to a pigeon, like in yoga, but now this is a little bit more of that deeper uh, stretch into that glute. So we're hanging out here for about a minute. We're breathing through our diaphragm, and then when I tell you to go, I want you to think of driving your ankle and knee down into the ground as far as possible. So keep 
keep holding that stretch. Let's see what we got here. Oh, so many more people have joined. Hello, 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 hello. Oh, I flipped my camera around. That's not good. Here I am. There you go. So we're still in that stretch. We're hanging out. We're breathing. And in about 30 seconds, we're going to think of driving that ankle and knee down into the ground as hard as possible. We're breathing. We're breathing. Twenty seconds. Keep breathing. Deep, deep, deep breaths. Ten seconds. I want you to think of driving your knee and ankle down. So we're gonna do that in five, four, three, two, one. Start driving that leg down into the ground. Create tension in your body. Push, push. That glute and hip should be on fire. You got three, two, one. Relax, try to get further into the stretch. Now, if you are super flexible like a yogi, rather than supporting your hands on the ground, let your torso be the weight barrier. And that's going to load the tissues a little bit more if you're super flexible. So in five seconds, when I tell you to go, you're going to think of driving your ankle and knee off the ground. Three, two, one. So driving the leg up. Pull it towards you. Don't lose the angle of your torso. Just think of pulling that leg up towards your face. Drive. You got five, four, three, two, and one. Let go and relax. We're going to come back up to our starting position. Now, if you remember from the other side, when I tell you to go, we're going to lift this front leg up towards the ceiling. If for any reason it doesn't come off the ground, lean over with your right side so that you can get a little bit more lift. Make sure you don't lean back too far to cheat the movement. Try to stay nice and upright. Alright, so three, two, one, and go. Lift. Hold that leg up off the ground. Hold it. Hold. Hold. And back down. Three, two, one, lift. Hold. 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 And back down. Three, two, one, lift. Hold. Hold. And back down. One more time, and lift. Hold. Hold. And back down. All right, just like the other side, we're gonna open up with this leg. The left hand is coming onto our right ankle to lock it up. We're gonna open up the knee and bring it back down, keeping my torso Straight ahead, I'm not trying to rotate. Just breathe. I'm going to do 10 reps and then we're going to transition back to our middle bear position. So nice and slow, keep going, you guys. I'm going to check how we're doing over here. Everyone's joining in, this is great. Keep going. We'll do a couple more. Let's do two more. Our left leg in front. 
We're going to do some more fun stuff with our hips. Let's go right hand on our left ankle. We're going to hold this position. When I tell you to lift, I want you to think of lifting that back ankle off the ground and holding it there until I tell you to put it down. Word of caution, this is the first time you're doing kick stretch. Most likely when I tell you to lift up that ankle, this hip is going to cramp. It's going to be super painful, embarrassing, and you'll probably fall over. But that's okay. Breathe through it. Cramping is not a bad thing. All that means is your brain sending the signals down to the muscle to activate you. But the muscles don't really understand it, and they go, oh, I'm going to cramp. Hopefully that's what you want. All right? So go nice and slow to begin. Three, two, one. Lift. And hold it there. Hold. This hip should be on fire. We're trying to bring that ankle up. And back down. And up. Hold. Hold it. And back down. And lift. Hold. Hold. And back down. And lift. Hold. Hold. And back down. Let's go one more time. And lift. Hold. Hold. And back down. Alright, we're going to help the ante a little bit. When I tell you to lift, it's not only going to be the ankle, it's also going to be the knee. So when I tell you to lift, it's going to look like this. So a couple options here. Hands up here in a hand lock position or a fist position like this. Hard. Hands on the ground to support. A little bit easier. If you have one hand on your hip, left hand leaning over, a little bit easier. And then on the elbow, it makes it super easy to lift this guy up. So find what works for you. Three, two, one. We're lifting. We're just hanging out here. We're breathing. We're activating all this stuff in our hip to hold that position. And back down. And lift. Hold. Hold it. And back down. And lift. I think this is also a good time to mention that Lean Fit is sponsoring this Sweat Across Canada through Impact Magazine to make this possible, and back down. Let's go one more time, and lift. So after this workout, make sure you take a sweaty selfie, tag Lean Fit and Impact Magazine with the hashtag, Sweat Across Canada, and the enter to win a cool prize pack, and back down. Woo! Next thing, we're gonna do a little transition. We're gonna do this at my speed. A lot of people go too fast if I get into that by themselves. What we're gonna do, we're going to lift the leg. We're slowly going to lift and transition to this mini seated 90-90 position. And then we're going to come back the same way we came, as slow as possible. Same rules apply. Hands up here makes it hard. A little bit easier, easier, easiest. So find what works for you. Three, two, one. Lift the leg. Drive it in. To that seated position, and we're coming back. Breathe, breathe, and back down. Three, two, one, lift. We're rotating that hip, kind of like those hip cards we had in the warm up earlier. And down, and we're coming back. Slowly, look at my pace, it's not fast. Good. I'm going to show you an option to make it a little bit easier. So I'm going to use my left hand, lean over, and my hand's going to be on this hip. It's a little less aggressive of an angle. So now we're lifting. Opening up that hip. Coming down. And coming back. Nice and slow. See, a lot easier that way compared to being as upright as possible. Alright, so we're going to make our way over to the other side to do the same thing. Opening up that hip, rotating all the way over. We're not stopping in that bare position that we've done before. We're rotating all the way over. All right, so right leg should be in front. Left leg is the working leg. When I tell you to go, we're going to lift that ankle up. Three, two, one, lift and hold. Hold. Back down. Three, two, one, lift. Hold. Keep holding while I check this out. Nice. And back down. And 
and lift. And back down. And lift. And back down. Next one's up. Knee, ankle, both come up. All right? Three, two, one. Lift. Hold. Hold. And back down. Three, two, one. Lift. We're hanging out. Hold. Hold. And back down. And back up. Three, two, one. Breathe. Breathe. And back down. Let's go one more for a good one. Three, two, one. Up. And back down. All right, so we got that super fancy flip through with the leg and going to that half seated position. So we're lifting. Opening up that hip to that half full seated position, and then we're coming back nice and slow. Remember, hands up here makes it hard, so I'm going to show the variation where I lean over to make it a little bit easier. We're lifting up the leg, rotate, 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 step down, lift the leg up, rotate, 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 aim behind you, and down. Go two more. We're lifting. Rotate, 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 rotate. Down. Almost there. And back. Last one here. We're lifting. Rotate, rotate, rotate. Down. And back up. All right, we're gonna work the shoulders a little bit. I'm gonna see how we're doing for time. Uh, we can finish this off. All right, from behind, I'm gonna show you. We're gonna go onto our toes, falling in position, squeezing those glutes. One hand up top, one hand behind. We're gonna slowly do these infinity swimmer-like motions, nice and slow. What I wanna see is you constantly squeezing your glutes as both arms come in and try to reach as far as possible to get close to one another. And we're going nice and slow. Nice and slow. This might seem easy, but if you start squeezing your glutes as hard as possible, pushing those toes down into the ground, and really slow down the movement of your shoulders, this thing will start burning. Few more here. Let's go one more. And good. Let's finish off with some breathing, shall we? Nice and simple, nothing fancy. We're gonna go into a child's pose. Sit into the heels, arms forward. Five deep breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and hold it, hold it, and exhale, hold it, hold it, inhale, hold. You guys crushed it. Hopefully you joined in with me, not just watch this while you're on your couch eating something. Um, we will save this. I recorded this on my laptop, so we'll have it on YouTube. And again, I want to thank Impact Magazine for letting me steal their Instagram for just 30 minutes to bring to you this awesome kin stretch flow workout. And again, thank you, thank you for joining us. Thank you, Lean Fit, for making this happen. Make sure you take a post selfie of you doing this class and hashtagging Sweat Across Canada and tag Impact Magazine and Lean Fit to be entered to win a cool prize pack. Thank you guys, you guys are amazing. Mwah. Until next time, we'll see you guys around. <laughs> nice.
I'm so happy that people actually did this and not just watching it on their, uh, on their couches. Like, oh, wow, that looks hard. All right, I got to head out to you guys. You guys are amazing. We'll save the video. Don't worry. We'll post it later.